right, guys. So this is the, uh, what part is this? Part six, I think, um, on the 9.3 by 62 uh, classic Mauser build. Um, what we're going to cover here is we're going to get into the finishing of this stock. All right, so the last part of the semester is basically going to be you guys finishing a wood stock. All right, so um, I'm going to start with this one today. We're going to go over the sanding and whatnot. And I'm going to do this like probably in, 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 in two parts. So I'm going to cover a lot of the stuff in, in school as far as the finishing, the oil finish and whatnot. But I'm going to do a real short one here on the sanding. Okay. So uh, when we get into doing, you know, your wood stocks, obviously you're going to have to sand them, right, before you can put your finish on. And sanding the, of the wood is a lot like uh, when we finished out the metal, you know, when we were doing bluing last semester. Um, you're going to take in whatever grade of sandpaper you start out with. So if you're going to start out with this one here, I'm going to start with a 180. Um, I'm going to go to a 220 and I'm going to finish with a 320. You have to kind of go in order. You can't go from 180 to 400 because you're going to leave waves and stuff in the wood. So everything has to be in order when you go through and do this. All right. So um, it's pretty basic. You're basically just going to, the, the finish that you are trying to get, if you're trying to get a kind of low luster, um, kind of a hunter type oil finish, then you're going to finish with your stop your paper at about 320, 400, right around there. If you're trying to get a little bit higher polish, a little higher gloss type finish, then you're going to move up in paper. You're going to go up to you know your your front, your 600s, your 800s. You know some guys are you know leveling out and doing all kinds of different stuff at 1200s and whatnot, right? So there's a lot of different stuff, a lot of different things you can do when you're getting into finishing of wood stocks. Okay, there's not really any one particular way. Like everything I've been telling you guys, there's all kinds of different ways, all kinds of different things that people use, all right? So this one I'm kind of excited on because I'm not, this time I'm not gonna use my red oak stain, which I've done a whole bunch of stuff with. I'm actually gonna use these uh, SB McWilliams. These are pretty decent stuff. These are a little bit pricey, um, but um, I think it's a good product. And I think for this particular build, um, this stain and this color, um, uh, it's going to look really good with this. Uh, this is a really a classic reddish brown um, type on it, type uh, look to it, which is very classic for what um, an expressed Mauser type build was, so or is. Um, so we're going to do that with this one, but first before we get there, we have to do our sanding. So um, I'm not going to, you know, go through, you know, each shade of sandpaper or something like that. I'm basically going to start sanding. And when I'm finished, I'll show you guys, okay? So let's get to it. Okay guys, so it is the next day and um, I've sanded, uh, I've got everything ready to start putting my finish on. Uh, I'm going to do my seal coat first and then you know, I'll show you the process where I'm going to put it in my cabinet right there and let uh, my hot box, I call that, and let it 
speed up the process a little bit. But basically at this point right now, what we're gonna do after we've sanded it, after we've got it smooth, we're at our 320 or 400, whatever you decide to go to, um, and we're gonna go ahead and do this, the, the first few steps of sealing the stock, okay? So what we're gonna do when we do that is, you're gonna need some kind of a container, kind of like we talked about in class on Monday. Okay, you're gonna need some kind of a container, and this is where whatever you're gonna use for your finish, okay? For your stain, I should say. Okay, whatever stain you wanna get. If you, in the past I've used Minwax Red Oak because it mimics the classic looking red, reddish, brownish color, uh, stocks that you used to see in, you know, in, in the 50s and 60s and 40s, 30s and stuff. Um, and it's kind of was tough to find, but to get that type of product to, you know, the Pilkingtons, I think, is the other one that's out there that does that, but Pilkington's pretty, yeah, it's pretty pricey right now. So I decided to go with this product right here. So this is an SB McWilliams, all right? Um, I'm not advertising or anything for them. It's just this is what I'm going to use, okay? So this is uh, an, an, an Alkanet uh, varnish. It's a... Um, uh, it's what they used to use. Alconet is something that they used to use. Um, the the gun the gun oil recipes for Alconet root go back a couple hundred years, you know, since they started making guns basically. Um, and it has that look that mimics that look of uh, a, you know that classic reddish brown look. So um, so what we're gonna do here is, and this is my oil. Okay, this is what I'm gonna finish the stock in. Okay, this is my clear oil finish. So I'm gonna stain the stock first with this, with, a, with, my, with my varnish, then I'm gonna finish it out with oil here. Okay, that's gonna be the last part, okay? So the first step that you're gonna to wanna to do um, when you do this is you're gonna want, you know, mix your, do your mixture. Okay, so you want to mix this out pretty, lean more on the, on the mineral spirit side than your stain side. So you're gonna use, I like to use three quarter to one quarter. Okay, before I've said two thirds, one third, but it's easier to measure something like three quarter to one quarter. Okay, so just get this in here as it spills everywhere. About like that, okay. And then take your finish, or your stain, okay. And make yeah, this stuff. And try and mix that to three quarter to one quarter. Okay, I have forgotten the step. I forgot to put my gloves on. I'm always harping about that. Just get your gloves on. So when we talk about finishing a rifle stock, a wood stock, and we were going over that in class on Monday. Um, it's getting to be rarer and rarer, the wood stock stuff that might come into your shop. But, you know, wood stocks are fun. I mean, they're, they are fun. They're a challenge. They're more fun. They're, they're just, there's a lot to finishing these out. To get something to look, you know, that classic look to it is a lot of work. And it's a lot of fun, though, too. So I really enjoy it. So um, uh, it's more of a challenge. There's... Definitely, I mean, when you do a stainless composite and you're, you know, dura coating or cerakoting coating a stock, you're just picking out a color, okay? When you're doing stuff like this, um, there's all sorts of different ways to do this. There's, there's guys who use, uh, they use fills, there's guys who do straight oil, they do linseed oil, they do, you know, antique oil, they do tons of stuff to finish stock. So it's not any one way. Um, the way I'm doing it right now is slightly variation of how I was taught in school, okay? So um, uh, whatever you guys decide to do, um, that's up to you. And, and But this is just a basic way of doing it, okay? And the, the thing is at the end of it, it has to look pretty uniform, okay? So the stock's got to look filled. It's got to look, it has the same consistent sheen all the way from, you know, from top to bottom. So how you go about doing that, you know, we can work on that, but this is just, this is how I do it, okay? So what I do, is so you just saw me do my mixture right there. Something I did is I added a stock to that, or a little hook to that as well. All right. So what I do is I get this, and I just flood this stock with this stuff. All right. I just get it on there. Okay. 
There's no right or wrong on this part. You're just getting it on there. This contains a stain. This contains the mineral spirits part of it, and it helps. If you do a straight oil, this will take weeks to dry, okay? That's why we mix it with mineral spirits, all right? So you're just gonna get this on. And basically, when you put this on, you're gonna keep putting it on until, you'll put it on, let it dry, put it on, let it dry, and you're gonna keep doing that until it doesn't take anymore, okay? Because right now you can see it's soaking all this up, which is good, that's cool. You know, that's what's gonna happen, all right? You can see, that's, I love that color. <laughs> the color is awesome. So I'll just go through here, get it all up on here. And this seals the stock because it's got the varnish mixed in it, okay? Um, but it also gives that stock the stain, all right? Now, if you don't want to stain your stock, you can do the same mixture with uh, just your oil. Say you just want to go straight 100% oil. Some guys do that. So you got a really good piece of, really good piece of uh, walnut, you know, that you don't want to stain. You know, you just want to go with the look that it's got. Well, that's fine. Just use your oil and go straight oil on that, okay? So we're gonna go through here, just like this. And you can see it's soaking up a ton of it. That's good, that's what you want. You want it to be completely soak up all of this finish, all right? And you're gonna keep putting this on until it doesn't, you basically when it gets to the point where you put it on and it looks wet, and then when it dries, it still looks wet. Um, you know, that's when we're gonna sand it off. That's a little, we're gonna do a separate video on that, okay? But for right now, we're just gonna go through here and get this all on here. Say every place on it, every place that's raw wood, you're gonna put this on, okay? Don't worry about it getting your bedding, you know, it's fine. If you bet at the Woodstock. All right, so that's pretty good. It's on there pretty good. And you can see kind of the, where it's already dry and some parts that are wet. Uh, that's basically because those parts are just soaking up that finish. It's probably, it's really, it's more of the end grain, you know, in this, believe it or not, you have end grain and laminate too. You know, something else I do, because it seals as well as I do the buttstock. Okay, there's really no barrier, you know. When you put your recoil pad on from moisture getting in here and eating out the end of your, your stock like that. So just get it up here, go on, up. Yeah, this is gonna look really good, this color. This is kind of the fun part too, you know, this is when you start the, you know, the rifle really starts to take a life of itself, a life of its own, you know, and start to, you really see what the color is gonna look like for the first time. You know, you, little pieces of grain that pop out. And the cool thing too is when you do this is sometimes you'll be going along and you get this point and you'll see like a, an imperfection. That's fine. This is, this is, you know, we can fix all those imperfections. Okay, anything that pops up, looks like an imperfection, we can fix that, all right? But the first step we gotta do is we gotta seal it. So that's pretty good there. So I'm gonna go hang this in my box, which is right here. And I'll show you guys this. So I got this sitting in my box right here, okay? So those light bulbs are, provide some heat, okay? So we'll take this and I turn this on and there we go. So that's gonna speed this process up. This is gonna speed this process up a lot. Okay, it's gonna get me down to about, I'll be able to, it's five o'clock right now. I could probably definitely do another two coats tonight. So, um, so anyway, uh, that's just this. That's the first part, and you're gonna do the sanding and the finishing. 
Okay, we'll get into um, the other stuff that we're gonna do, uh, the actual finish coats, the, fill, the filler coats and whatnot, we'll get into that in another video. But for your first part, that's what you're gonna do, what we just went over right there. Okay, guys? All right. Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick update. So there's more to this video. Um, this is the next day, okay? This is after uh, three coats yesterday. That's where my cabin over there, you know, has worked out in the hot box I was telling you, has worked out really good. I was able to get three coats on this and this stock is now 100% dry, okay? So some of you guys are gonna see when you do this, when you get to this point right here, and it's, you know, you're gonna put your finish on and the stock's gonna be totally you know, smooth and, and everything's gonna be great on it, right? But when you take it out, after your first coat, it's gonna have a very rough feel on it. All right, that's what this one right now, it feels very rough, kind of like a lot of, you know, like just, you know, if I was to run a cotton ball on it, it would probably snag on all that, right? That's good, that's the way it's supposed to be. What happened is, is now you put your sealer coat on it, seal, uh, seal has gotten to the wood, and it's raised the grain a little bit, okay? So that's when we're gonna start sanding this down, okay? You can start doing, um, uh, a different, you, each, between each one of these, you can sand it down. You can put another, I'm gonna put another coat on this. But before I do that though, is I'm gonna sand this at about 320, 400 or so, okay? Then I'm gonna put another coat on. And I'm gonna do that a couple of times, all right? And eventually I'm gonna get to, now this is something I'm gonna do on this stock and I've only done one other time before. Okay, and I'm doing that because it's a laminate stock, but I'm gonna put a sealer and a filler in it, okay? Um, the sealer and a filler is, it's, it's cause this is a laminated stock and I'd like to seal because of this right here. When I was shaping the stock, um, this is end grain basically on this. Okay. So it's going to soak in a whole bunch of stuff and it's not really ever going to totally seal with just an oil finish. So the sealer and the filler is going to help me fill all these little end grain things in. And it's also going to seal the stock. So because this is a laminate, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So that'll be a step that's, you know, on a walnut stock, you really don't need to do, but for this, I'm going to do that. So when you guys get your stocks ready and you put a couple st uh, uh, coats on and you take them out, it's going to have this rough finish, okay? So that's fine. It has that rough finish, no big deal. We're going to go ahead and and uh, and keep along with the process. Don't panic when that happens, all right? So, all right. So this now really is the end of the video. <laughs> Thanks, guys.